In today's video, we're going to teach you how you can season a cast iron skillet on a stove or on a stove top. I get this question quite frequently and so I thought I would address that today because you can do that. You don't necessarily have to do it in the oven every time. So let's get right to it. I'll show you exactly how easy this is to do. Okay, first thing first, we've got our cast iron skillet that we picked up from uh, Cracker Barrel, the United We Stand skillet, and uh, we had this in a previous video where uh, we was asking if bacon is bad for you, and you can check that out. But anyway, all we've been doing to this skillet is basically cooking bacon in like we did that video. And what you want to do in order to season your cast iron skillet on a stove top is once you wash it, and I just washed it and everything, so it's, it's dry. We've got our burner on here. Matter of fact, I need to turn it down to medium. And uh, so we're letting our skillet heat up a little bit. I saved my bacon grease. This bacon can was my mother's. And so it has a strainer. Uh, once you get done cooking bacon, you just pour your bacon uh, grease into your can and there's a strainer there to strain out any bacon bits or whatever. So you guys have seen me do that in previous videos. But all you really need to do in order to season your cast iron skillet on the stove, only thing you're gonna need is basically uh, bacon grease, vegetable oil, whatever type of oil that you choose to use, and uh, paper towels, and then I use an old uh, soft cloth basically all the time on my skillets. And what you do, once this skillet is warmed up, you can kind of feel it right here to the touch. And once it's hot, uh, you're ready to, to go. But now, in order to keep from burning yourself, you might want to pick up one of these large silicone pot holders, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description box, but it's easy to hold on to these and won't burn your hand. But anyway, what you're going to need to do basically is just pour in, oh, about, oh, half a dollar size or dollar size, uh, about a tablespoon in other words. Take your dry paper towel and just begin to wipe that around your skillet all the way around on the sides, even the top edges, and especially these little pour spouts here. Be sure and get them. Get down in the corner of your skillet and uh, just wipe out any excess oil because you don't want any oil to pull up into your skillet. All you're wanting to do is just put a small thin layer. And then since this skillet is already so warm, you can see smoke already beginning to rise from this, and that's a good thing. That's what you want. You want to bring this skillet up to uh, till it's just barely beginning to smoke. Now, you don't want to smoke your whole house up or anything, but you just want to bring it up to this point, and that's why we're on medium, uh, roughly medium heat. So once you do that, then basically what you want to do is come back in with your cloth and you don't have to use a cloth you can continue to use a paper towel if you choose and you just wipe the excess out and it's going to look like that right there now if you happen to have any dry spots if you see some real dry spots in your skillet what you're going to want to do after you wipe it out that time you want to come back in pour your list just a little bit more bacon grease or vegetable oil whatever you're using <coughs> Crisco or whatever and come right back in and do this one more time. Just take and wipe your oil all the way around your skillet. Be sure and get those pour spouts. Be sure and get all the inside edges. And we're not focusing on the bottom of the skillet, if you noticed, uh, but we will address that here shortly. And see, once you get everything wiped out, let that sit there, come up to a smoke point, bring it up to where they're lightly starting to smoke and then just come right back in with your, your rag and wipe out any excess that may be there. And that's kind of what it looks like right there. This skillet has not been seasoned other than cooking bacon in it and uh, using bacon grease. I have not seasoned this in the oven and uh, you only typically have to do that three or four times a year if you, cho if you so choose. And you don't necessarily have to do that. You can actually just do it right here on the stovetop. So if you've wondered how to season a cast iron skillet on the stovetop, this is how you do it. And this rag, of course, it's going to have a little excess oil on it from wiping the excess out of the, uh, the skillet itself. So while the burner's still on, you can flip this over 
and just lightly rub your outer edges and your bottom of your skillet <clears throat> to get just a small light coat on it and on the handle as well you can do that too and that's what that looks like and so you see how easy that is we're going to do this one more time there because there's a little bit I don't know if you can see that or not there's a little bit of a gray spot in that skillet right along in there and so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and put about a little over a tablespoon, about a tablespoon or so. We're going to get our, I'm going to get a little bit more paper towel because this one's getting oil soaked. And uh, skillet's warm. So we're just going to take and rub this oil all over, especially on that dry gray spot right there. Be sure and address that. Be sure and get every little nook and cranny, all your pore spouts here, even your handles. And uh, once you get the excess out, basically, then just let it heat up a little bit. And as it heats up and, and expands, there will be just a little bit uh, of excess oil that will come to the top because it's heated up. You just basically let it come to that point. Once your stove starts to, or your skillet begins to smoke a little bit, and then just come right back and wipe out your excess again. And so, so we've done that three times. You don't have to do that after cooking unless like it's a brand new skillet like this and you wanna do that. Uh, you can just do that every time after you get done cooking something. Be sure and wash your skillet out good and clean and dry it real quickly, either with a paper towel or on the stove like that. And just take and heat your stove up to medium like we just did here pour you just a little bit of bacon grease or vegetable oil or whatever you're using and just coat that real good and you're ready to put that skillet away and uh, it's ready for use for the next time that you're ready to cook in it. Well, we hope you found that helpful. Uh, this is our new Lodge cast iron skillet and that's what it looks like when we just uh, seasoned uh, our cast iron skillet on the stove top. And you can do that very easily. As a matter of fact, I suggest after you uh, cook a meal, be sure and wash and clean your skillet out every time real good. Dry it real quick. And then you've seen how quick we did this. I mean, just in a matter of a few minutes, you just heat your, uh, your burner up to medium. And you can do this on a glass top stove or, you know, a gas grill, a gas stove like this or whatever, and just put you just about a tablespoon of, of uh, your favorite oil in there, wipe it down real good, let it come up to a smoke point, and wipe it down one more time, and put it away until you're ready to cook with it again. So, hey, if you guys found this helpful, YouTube has placed a video right here that they believe you're gonna enjoy. So click on it, and we'll see you guys over there. You guys have a great day. It's Mike with Mr. Cast Iron. We'll see you, bye-bye.